Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here at Touch iPods, and today in this video, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys a nice little software slash hardware walkthrough of the new iPod Touch 4th generation from Apple. You guys know I got this today, it came out uh, on the 8th. Um, really quickly, just to show you guys something simple, just the packaging it came in. Uh, this is what it came in if you're interested. If you didn't catch the unboxing video, there'll be a link um, to this video, to, uh, on this video, in an annotation to the unboxing video if you want to go and check that out. Um, but basically, this is going to be a software and a hardware walkthrough of the new iPod Touch, uh, what it's got to uh, give to us, and um, how we're going to mess with it all, basically. First of all, I'm going to start start you, go, start you guys off with the hardware. So what you guys can see aesthetic-wise on the outside and on the physical things on the iPod that you could see, feel, and touch. Alright, so on the front, we'll start right here, basic. Um, you guys can see, you do have the screen, you have your home button right there on the front, and then the most noticeable thing is you have the camera right up there, if you guys can see it in the reflection, right next to that light, the camera, that little dot right in there, that's the camera, that's the front-facing camera, so there is a camera on the front of the iPod. If we go ahead and turn it over to this side, you guys can see the volume rockers are now separated, they are not full like in the other iPod which I will have a comparison video so you guys can see all the differences between the iPods. Uh, moving on to the top, you have your camera on the back there and you have your power on and off sleep button chilling there on the top right up here. It's in a little different position than it used to be. It's a little bit more on the back and a little bit more flattened down. Um, so it's going to take a little getting used to. That could be uh, to stop um, miss power ons, miss power offs, you know, things like that, how it uh, accidentally goes on and off, how it accidentally sleeps and stuff like that. So that could be a reason why. Uh, on the bottom you have your headphone jack, you have your dock, uh, sync, charge, 30 pin connector, and you also have a speaker grill, which is new. On the older older version of the iPod Touch, you, the speaker was built into the dock, and now it has its own little grill right in there, if you guys can see that, right down there at the bottom. So um, the speaker is not going to be... Um, mixed up at all with the dock and you'll be able to have full sound coming straight out of that grill instead of coming out through the speaker which is pretty cool. Otherwise on the back you just have iPod 32 gigabyte fingerprint magnet as usual. It's much 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 thinner than the iPod Touch second generation which you guys will see in the upcoming comparison video. Uh, the back is a little bit more flat than rounded than uh, to the previous version. Um, and that's basically it. Everything on the outside wise. Like I said the back camera also has the microphone right there as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and press the home button. We'll turn this baby on. You guys can see we got slide to unlock. And we'll go ahead and turn this on. So you guys can see you can have the background now with this new 4.1 operating system on this new iPod Touch. Let's go ahead and we'll start off with FaceTime. I know you guys want to uh, see that mainly. So we'll go ahead and open up FaceTime. And what you have inside of FaceTime is favorites, recents, and contacts. Um, that's where you're going to be storing all your contacts, people you're going to be calling, things like that. I only have a couple people in there right now because this is very new. And I don't know that many people that have it so far, but... I will add on in the future um, with other people. I might make a separate email account for people from YouTube and do like live streams with you guys and FaceTime and things like that in the future. Uh, if otherwise, just at reply me on Twitter. Maybe we could FaceTime for a little bit um, or message me or something on Twitter if I'm following you as well. Um, basically, in FaceTime, it's a very simple application. The video quality in FaceTime is amazing. It looks great. There's no lag whatsoever. It's beautiful. Um, calendar, you guys know basic. Photos. Pretty much the same thing. You can geotag your photos and your videos that you can take. Um, camera, which you guys are also probably most likely looking forward to. Uh, you guys see it takes a little while to open, but there you go. You have the camera. And what you can do in here is you can uh, access the back camera and the front camera by clicking this button right up here. I'll click this, and you guys will be able to see me right over there. Uh, so go ahead and click that and go back to the back-facing camera. And you guys can see everything I'm looking at through there. Here you can tap to focus. You can focus on a certain area. You can zoom in and out really far, which is actually pretty cool. And you can also switch it over to video mode right down here. Switch it over to video. You could shoot video and take pictures in portrait or landscape. It's totally up to you. Uh, you can also record with the front-facing camera towards you as well if you want to take a video of that. Um, very nice 720p video uh, exporting to YouTube. It's very cool. Um, this... The camera on the iPod Touch is my favorite uh, design. The cameras, those are my favorite things so far. I think it's awesome. Camera and a camera. Whoa. The quality of the pictures, I think it's 0.7 megapixels. It's not the greatest thing. Uh, it's not the greatest camera in the world, but it's like a cell phone camera. It's not 
I don't I don't expect that much from it. It is really cool though that it does have a camera built in. I'm I'm mainly going to be using it for taking videos and things like that on the go. Um, so that's really cool about the camera. If you guys have any questions about that, let me know in a comment down below. Uh, you do have the double tap for multitasking. That is within this new 4.1 software. Nothing new there. Um, you have Game Center, which is new. There's my Game Center name. You can go ahead and add me if you wish. Crispy. Uh, I have 32 friends so far, one game played, and two achievements. There aren't that many games so far on this. Uh, you can see Field Runners right there I have, if you guys can see that. Um, there aren't too many games that are in this section. You actually have to try to find some of them. Field Runners just happens to be one of them, and I tried it out. Got two achievements so far. Pretty cool. Uh, you can add people right over here if you want. You can add them by email, or you can add them by their nickname. So go ahead and cancel that. If you guys want to add me right there, Crispy is my nickname. Uh, up to you. Uh, that's pretty cool game center it's kind of like an xbox live type of thing for your ipod touch or iphone with the new uh software update uh keep track of your achievements games you played everything like that you and your friends can challenge each other i think it's gonna be pretty neat uh but we're gonna see how that progresses as well uh there's not much more to go over with this like i showed you all the buttons i showed you the the screen this new screen is so much brighter the retina display there's more pixels which means you're gonna have a better picture there's gonna be much more details Everything is a lot crisper. Um, you will see in the comparison video to come uh, the difference in between the screens from the new one and the old one and the original iPod. You can see the difference uh, as it uh, advance as the iPad advanced. Um, there's not much more to talk about. It's very simple. Uh, the uh, major updates, like I said, were the front-facing camera for FaceTime and video, uh, and the back-facing camera as well with the microphone. No little Wi-Fi cover there like in the other version. Once again, in the comparison video, you will see that. And uh, all around, I think this is a great buy. Um, 32 gigabytes is what I would recommend. 299, just spend the extra. Um, what is it? Maybe 60, 70 dollars, 50 bucks extra, and go for this version. Uh, only because 8 gigabyte, you're gonna run out quick with with music, video, and now you're taking pictures and videos um, on your actual device. You're gonna run out pretty quick. So I would go with the 32 gigabyte. Uh, and that's basically all you got for you guys in this video. I think it's pretty cool. This new iPod Touch. That was just a quick software. Seven minute quick software and hardware walkthrough. If you guys have any questions, please at reply me on Twitter, I touch iPods, follow me on that as well. Uh, or post a comment or a video response down below and hopefully me or somebody else will be able to get back to you guys. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I will catch you all in the next one. Um, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys later. Let's see if we can go ahead and get this. A oh, peace. <laughs> see you guys.